Hi guys. Oh shoot. Sorry. Um, burning question for those of you out there that have tarot go or that have tried tarot go. I would love to know what your guys' experience has been so far using the new tarot go system. For those of you that don't know what it is, it's tarot's um, new system where people can rent your cars without actually having to meet you or you having to hand off the car. So sort of like a keyless entry where you, I believe, leave the key in the car and they can app unlock through their reservation. Now, I was never really planning on doing, doing Turo Go because all of my cars are already equipped with tracking devices, remote lock and unlock, and that whole thing. But the only reason why I've more recently started to look into it is because I've noticed that all the cars that do have Turo Go with the app unlock, they're ranking way higher than cars that don't have Turo Go. So I've noticed that my ranking on the platform has dropped because I don't have Turo Go. So I almost a little bit feel like I'm being forced into doing it, but you know, I wanted to find out what the experiences are out there. I really haven't heard too much about it, um, even from people that I know. Um, so I am interested in knowing, one, how has the experience been for guests? Um, how has the experience been with the actual app? Like how seamless is it really? Is it pretty glitchy? You know, what's happening there because I know that this is something new and something that they are applying changes to. And then the other thing that I was really curious about more than anything else is how the photo documentation works when it comes to claims. Now I did read on their website where it did say that as a host you still have to take photos of the car but then if somebody books they can pick up a car within 30 minutes if it's available on Turo Go. So, and you don't have to be there to hand off the key, which means that you're likely not there to take photos either. Now, I did talk to somebody at Turo and he told me, um, somebody on the Turo Go team, and he told me that the host actually doesn't have to take photos and um, the process for claims is a little bit different and that the guest has to take photos. Now, I do know that when you use Turo Go, the guest is required to follow the prompts and take certain photos, but, you know, as guest, you know, they're obviously not gonna take as detailed photos as we would as host. They're not gonna check your tire tread and things like that. So I'm wondering how that stuff works. So if there's anyone out there that has had Turo Go, that has had claims, if you can please share your experience with me and with everyone else that watches this, I know I've had a lot of people asking about Turo Go and I haven't done it myself, but I think here in the next couple of weeks, I'll probably try it out on a few cars. Now, the other thing that really interests me and what I want to experiment with and really find out about is do people prefer to meet with the host in person or do they prefer to just do it all through the app and not have that interaction? You know, especially with the way that our, I guess, society is changing these days, the lack of human interaction, I think people are getting used to it. So now it, sometimes it almost feels like people feel uncomfortable and awkward when they have to meet somebody and like conversate with them. Um, I definitely do get that feeling when I have some of my younger guests rent my cars. You can tell like they're uncomfortable having a conversation and that interaction, probably just because that's what they're used to with the internet and social media and stuff like that. So I'm wondering if people prefer um, non-host interaction, no human interaction, just be able to do it through an app. I would love to hear from you guys on this. I can tell from the advertising that uh, Turo is doing and also for the summit that they're holding next week. You know, it's one of their main line items on the agenda is to talk about Turo Go. They're making a huge, huge push towards this. So this I can see is something that they are prioritizing. But again, like I said in the past, this is for sure doing Turo is all about the experience that's provided. So I'd really like to know about what is the experience that people are having with Turo Go. And if you're a renter and you've done Turo Go and you happen to watch this video, we would love to hear from you as well. Thanks for watching guys, bye.